is Jessie. I am, um, I've been here at the shelter for about a year. Um, I started in January right after, uh, right before COVID hit. <laughs> and so that was pretty crazy. But um, I have been working with animals for like my whole life. I've been volunteering here since 2013. Hey, the easy collar is new for him, or the gentle leader is new for him, so. <laughs> Hey, can you sit? Boy. Um, but yeah, so I've been volunteering here since like 2013, somewhere around there. Um, and then I came on staff last year. And I have four dogs at home. And yeah, four dogs, four horses, one cat. <laughs> So for someone that's wanting to volunteer, I would recommend, um, well, first of all, visiting our site and filling out one of our uh, volunteer forms. And then the great Kate Wall will be in touch with you about uh, an orientation. I know, I know. <laughs> um, and we've got lots of animals here that need some lovin's. Um, this guy in particular is not great with the lovin's once he, if he doesn't know you, but once he gets to know you, he really does love people. <laughs> so, um, when we first started, or when we had to put dogs out for um, COVID, we had to shut down the shelter pretty quickly. Um, and so within two days, the community really stepped up and um, got while interested in volunteering um, and took on some dogs. Our more difficult dogs stayed here and staff still took care of them, um, but it was a limited staff and there was only like four dogs. Um, but before COVID hit, a dog named Alex came in. Um, he was brought to us. He was heartworm positive. He had been um, actually drugged behind the car of his owners. Um, so he had a really weird gait his walk was off um, and but he was still just like loving life and like a great dog which is just shows you how resilient dogs are he loves people um, and so when we had to find families for COVID fosters um, this one family with kids stepped up and within a couple of days they actually adopted him um, and so I had shown him to several adopters before we had the COVID fosters and everybody was like, oh, he's so sweet, just not for me type thing. And um, so it was really great to hear from these fosters that had him for two days and they just saw his potential and they are now, it's been a year since they've had him. They just made a Facebook post about it. And um, he's getting along great with his siblings, his human siblings. <laughs> um, and love and life, his name is Hopper now. So this is Zeke. He is almost two years old. He has been at the shelter for about a year now. Um, as you can see, he's a huge goof, um, but he is not so trusting of strangers, unfortunately. Um, we think he was abused before he came to us. And um, so lots of hands coming in his direction um, really scare him and he reacts aggressively, unfortunately. Um, but as you can see here, he loves people once you get to know them yes okay okay that's good <laughs> um and he actually has no problems with other cats or dogs um he just is one that's going to take lots of meetings to get to know you um and he's going to be scary at first when he gets to meet you but he and lorraine have been our longest residents here <laughs> hey hey buddy you sit and he knows lots of cool tricks like touch, spin, down, weight. Um, so he's very well trained. Um, but yeah, he's he's been here for a long time and I can just tell that shelter life is affecting him. So 